Yo, 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 what's up, people? It's your boy. I'm Chris the Don One, and I am back with another video. Yeah, so, um, this video is going to be a response to Jason Whitlock and Colin Cowherd, uh, what they said about Colin Kaepernick and why Colin Kaepernick, why they think the real reason why Colin Kaepernick is protesting against the national anthem. Now, I like to say this for the record. Um, I was completely shocked that Jason Whitlock took this level. And I wasn't surprised when Colin, uh, Colin Cowherd took this same level and this same approach because he always been doing it. All right. The, these two individuals are extremists. They are really extremists all the way to the motherfucking left. They're full blown extremists. All right. So what they said uh, yesterday was that the real reason why Colin Kaepernick is protesting against the national anthem, it really has nothing to do with equal rights, civil rights. It, had in, it didn't have anything to do with police brutality, Black Lives Matter too. Basically, this is Colin Kaepernick's way of sticking it up to the man. He basically is quitting on football. And they feel like uh, the reason why he's quitting on football is because he's pretty much given up, especially since he lost his starting job, and he just wants to collect a check. And this is the real reason why he's doing this protest. Now, I like to say this for the record. I made a video on this yesterday. I full I understand where Colin Kaepernick is coming from, but me, I would not took that approach. I would not chosen that path. All right. He has freedom of expression. If he wants to protest the national anthem or if anyone else want to protest the national anthem, so be it. As long as you understand, as long as you have thick skin, you're going to be criticized for this. All right. And to be honest with you, I don't think this is the right path to choose anyway, especially to enlighten others about black on black lives matter too, as well as police brutality. All right. That's in on another subject for another day. But uh, Colin Cowherd, I wasn't surprised on what he said. And I, and I was shocked that Jason Whitlock stooped to that level. They both questioned uh, Colin Cowherd's manhood, which that's something that any man shouldn't do to another man. Question his manhood. All right. And basically saying that the real reason why he's doing that, because uh, he lost his starting job and he's not a vocal leader with the 49ers. OK, when Colin Kaepernick was lighting it up and blowing things up and, you know, creating all these new uh, levels three years ago. He wasn't a vocal leader three years ago when he when he solidified the starting position. All right. He wasn't a vocal leader then. OK, he's not that type of guy. He's not cut from that same cloth. And when he started uh, collecting injuries upon himself and he could and he was unable to stay on the field. OK, where was the protest in? Two years ago, he wasn't protesting. Last year, he wasn't protesting. He has already lost his starting job, and he's trying to establish getting his starting position back. Okay, so he wasn't protesting last year. He wasn't protesting two years ago, and he definitely wasn't protesting three years ago. So to sit up here, for you two guys to sit up there and say that he's doing this and it's all a show and he's only thinking about numero uno himself is completely an exaggeration, okay? Like I said earlier, you never question a man's uh, manhood, all right? Now, let's talk about Colin Cowherd and Jason Whitlock just for a couple of seconds. Now, these two individuals are questioning this guy's manhood but if you go into their bio, when you go into their record, one would say, can we question their manhood? I mean, Jason Whitlock started on Fox. Uh, Fox thought he was too much of an extremist. He was too much on the left and they couldn't control him. So what did he do? He went to ESPN. He, he thought he could be the same Jason Whitlock he was at Fox when he went to ESPN. And ultimately, he got fired. Now, in their line of work, their ideal of fired is they're not going to renew your contract. So now 
he runs back with his tail stuck between his legs, and he's gone back to Fox, all right? Now, Colin Cowherd, in the early days of ESPN, he was uh, very opinionated. He had he talked about racial issues and this, that, and the third. And ESPN had a problem with him, so much so that they didn't even bother to even uh, re-sign him, all right? And when they suspended him, he thought that was a spit in the face, and he decided to take his talent elsewhere, took his ball home, and now he's with Fox, okay? There's a reason why Colin uh, Cowherd is at Fox, and it doesn't have anything to do with ESPN got outbid. Now, ESPN got outbid for Skip Bayless, but not for Colin Cowherd. Uh, so that's the real reason why Colin Cowherd left ESPN, because ESPN felt like he was an asset that they didn't need, and he was so full of controversy, and they couldn't book a lot of guests for his show because of his uh, criticism, not only to social events, but to racial, racial events as well, all right? There's a real, that, that's the real reason why Colin Cowherd is not with ESPN. Now, Jason Wiglock, he is so opinionated, and he's one of those old school type reporters that give it to you straight with no motherfucking chaser. And now, in two thousand, especially in 2016, the media cannot have that type of attitude. They cannot be so much opinionated because if you offend a commissioner or if you offend a owner, they have enough clout where if they have a problem or an issue with them, with you. They talk to your boss, all right? And then your boss talk to you about toning it down a level. These two individuals do not want to play within the rules. They kind of want to create their rules. And if you ask a lot of people who worked for Colin Cowherd, a lot of producers who worked for Colin Cowherd, who later on quit when he was at ESPN, this was the problem they had with Colin Cowherd. So it's no shock, it's no surprise that Colin Cowherd stooped to this level. Like I said, I was not shocked when Colin Cowherd did it because this is the typical uh, stick and bio of Colin Cowherd. Now, as far as Jason Whitlock, I expected more from him. But to sit up here to say that uh, Colin Kaepernick is quitting on football because and he's using this protest as a scam is completely laughable and ridiculous. Like I said earlier, um, I understand why Colin Cowherd, I mean, I'm sorry, uh, Colin Kaepernick is doing this. But to me, this is not the path I would have chosen okay but guys tell me what the fuck you think rate comment subscribe it's your motherfucking boy i'm chris the dime one and i am out of here peace